there for years. Got stain and varnish in the wood. Right. So um, they say now just use a chemical stripper. And they're all right, chemical paint stripper. So fucking, there's me thinking, oh, that bleeding little hardware shop now that I've been getting me a few bits and pieces. I, yeah. fuck, I rang him. I said, you got any of this uh, paint stripper? Like for varnish? He said, yeah, I've got four bottles of a left. I said, hold on to one, mummy way. So I threw the headphones in, started listening to some uh, delicious 1995 KRS-One albums. Ran nice. down the road. Ran down the road. Grabbed it off him. I was looking at the bottle. I was like, it's a pretty small bottle. You know, it's like, Jesus, half a litre or something, you know? And I said, well, that do a door. He said, ah, oh, yeah. He said, just, you know, get an old paintbrush and just kind of dab it on. Leave it for an hour, hour and a half, and then scrape it off. So we ran home, fucking super duper. Gloves on, got an old brush out, lashed the whole thing onto it. Barely had enough. Barely had enough. Jeez. Left it for an hour, came out with the scraper. It took loads off it. Loads. Did it take enough? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. I'm going to have to go back and buy the other three of them. There's no way even one at, more. Jesus, doors are like 500 quid. Yeah, doors are mad money. Right, so now I'm back back not buying a new door. Right? Yeah, I'm doors are mad money. Yeah, absolutely not. Doing that, yeah. So yeah, I have to go and buy more chemical fucking stripper now. And like, use the ladder on. And I wouldn't mind. Today's the hottest day I've experienced this year so far. <laughs> Is that I not fucking up your lungs? Is that not kind of bleeding? It doesn't matter. Bone? What does it matter? Because you might get bad lungs. No, I don't think I'm going to make it. I don't think I'm making it. Of the what? The fucking COVID? Of this, of the fucking pandemic or whatever. I'm pretty sure. Like, I think, gonna, I, I, no, I think I'm going to make it to the end and then something else will get me. Like, the pandemic's not going to kill me. But all I'm doing is, like, drinking mm-hmm. Hackenberg and smoking smokes, like, playing video games. I'm literally doing Although I lost some weight from walking the dogs. Dogs hate me. The dogs hate me. They literally hate me. They're hiding and all. I always grab the leads. I'm like, he's ready. They're hiding. Under beds. And I was like, oh, no, daddy. It's like, come on, you cunts. I'm not doing it on my own. So they're going with me. <laughs> but yeah, I need to, now I need to go tomorrow and buy like all this fucking stripper. But it's mad money, man. It's like 20 quid a fucking little tub and I need to buy three more. Yeah, but I just checked and doors are like 500. Tw- or I know. 1300 if you want one of those plastic aluminium ones. doors yeah that can yeah, fuck up now well look anyway we should talk about the podcast stuff. we should I have to give that you my next one yeah uh, you do have to give me your next one alright well, yeah, that was, that was Skrillex Skrillex Dubstep, whatever um, it, 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 I knew we all knew it was going to die it died you didn't have to fucking kick it while it was a baby <laughs> kicking uh, the baby, I know baby why, dubstep I know why I said that because when I went to the hardware shop he told me he can get no more stuff what he has is what he has and once he's going to out of stock he has to close because he has no more Jesus. means of getting stuck. That's why I was talking about the social distancing and reopening the hardware shops. Uh, yes. The one or two that are open are fucking, they're going to be gone soon because they got nothing else. Anyway, my next one uh, is yes. uh, Sir mix and it's Baby Got Back. Are you just picking 90s novelty yes. fucking yes. hip-hop songs? Yes, pretty much. We're pre- you're pretty close um, one, or, one or two <laughs> little side ones there. I, do- I dug deep here, Gary, into songs that I didn't. make me feel embarrassed by telling mm. people. I didn't. I'll tell you why. Because I, I crossed a fucking mad spectrum to get to uh, results like this. Okay. No, I'm not saying that you didn't fucking work for it. I'm saying <laughs> I, dug deep, I dug deep into my, oh, what makes me feel awkward when I tell people I into like Into your consciousness. And, and, I, and, I didn't. And what, what do I get the most? These are the songs I get the most resistance from. from no, because I've done all this in part one. I talked about fucking Blink-182 and Presence the United States and all this kind of shit. The, st- right. the stuff that people would slag me over. Now I'm going into stuff that like I shouldn't like because I'm nearly forty. That's when I'm where I'm going now. That's but what, fair enough. But what I done was I cross reference loads of the stuff that I thought was fucking kind of like people's like that's garbage or whatever. That's just stupid poppy nonsense. Yeah. I cross re- cross reference that with some fucking savage kind of backstories to get some cool information. Oh no, your backstories are fucking killer. And I'm just like. Like in my head, I'm thinking, who would no? All I'm saying is, who would slag you over that song? Why is that controversial? To because it's stupid, it's yeah, fucking fair. stupid. It's it, honest to god, has to be one of the stupidest songs ever made. It is very, it is fucking actually, it's 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 pretty cringy. It's way. fucking so bad, it's amazing. <laughs> and I, fucking I like that love. sometimes we do come out of podcasts in two different ways, actually. That keeps it yeah, interesting, exactly, keeps it sexy. <clears throat> so Jesus Christ, it's fucking... Now, first of all, remember, you have to go back in time and you have to remember when the video for this came out, 
right? So you're getting to see like women twerk for the first time and boards running around in like them weird eighties fucking kind of onesie type of uh, fucking bikinis. And so mix a lot himself is just a, a horrific looking human. <laughs> <laughs> just he looks like a heart attack a fucking mess he just looks like some sort of cuban pimp he's in shy <laughs> now he I'm was born google him now because i can barely remember mm, he is in <laughs> he, he has about six down on him everything he's wearing is like you know silky red oh, he's, and, a, he's got a cowboy hat yeah he's in shy this cunt right <laughs> <laughs> he's in absolute shy yeah, just, he already looked mad old. Yes, he was old and, when this came out. <clears throat> now, this is fucking mad. So, like I said, you got the video and the, the sample is killed. Like, bum, 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 bum. And then obviously you got Nicki Minaj used in horror version of it. He loves that version, of, of course, because got people Anna talking kinda, about it. Mm, my yeah. Anaconda don't want... I don't like that because it never kicks off. It's like an intro. It's mm. like a big intro to... Yeah. But I think, a lot, fucking, I think a lot of fucking trap is like that. The it just kind of goes nowhere. The, the, the be- I think the best thing about Sir Mix a Lot's uh, I Like Big Butts is just the intro. It's brilliant. It's just that, just that verse. I like big butts and I cannot lie. Because yeah, everybody I mean, can like, do it. But your woman going, she looks like a total prostitute. The, the, the intro blurb is fucking yeah. brilliant. Now, here's some fucking brilliant. mad shit. Here's some fucking mad shit, right? Give it to me. He's born in Seattle. Right, and he's mad at the hip hop, and he's mad at the R and B, and all this kind of shit. Yeah, well, I would not have expected Seattle. Seattle, right? Out of nowhere. Matt, first of all, out of left field, fucking Seattle. His debut album, he has a cover of Black Sabbath's Iron Man on it. <laughs> right. Well, it's fucking Seattle's a rock town, man. Yeah. Right. So it's got a cover of Iron Man on it. It has a rap song about square dancing, right? Called the Square Dance Rap. <laughs> Oh, right, he's, no, he's novelty, he's pure novelty. This lad, he, he on his debut album, he had a backing band. Do you want to know who his backing band were? Uh, Pull it out your hole, like his backing band, mm. like is this someone like Funkadelic or someone like that? Far from it's fucking Metal Church. What Metal band, Church? Metal Church, the band Metal Church. Are his backing band on the first album? Holy, that's like Toto being fucking Michael Jackson's Thriller backing band. This but fucking, way weirder, way yeah. weirder. Um, so in 1992 or 1991, he signed to Def Jam. Uh, fucking the video for Baby Got Back obviously has to be shown after a watershed. It's 9 p.m. There's complaints coming it's in got on the left, right, and large, large buttocks. It, it actually does. It actually does. In 1996, this is fucking mad as well. He joined. I never knew this. I fucking never knew this. This is fucking mad. Jesus Christ. 1996, he forms a band called Subset with the Goyas from the presidency of the United States of America. What? This is fucking bad, right? We just talked about them. Right? We just talked about them, right? So he joins a band, or starts a band called Subset, with the presidency of the United States of America, right? You know who we done tracks with? As well? Pussifer. I like this guy already. He's done a load of music fucking with Pussifer. Maynard James Keenan from Tools. Yeah. Fucking side pro- well, I was going to say side project, because you know what he'd say to that. Yeah. It's not a side project. It's it's like calling one of your children a side project. Yeah, man. Some people do have side project children. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, yeah, he's done tracks <laughs> with Pussifer. He's mad into Pussifer. Um, he got together um, with the Seattle Symphony Orchestra and wrote a load of new classical compositions for them to play. Okay. This cunt this is, is mad. This cunt this is, is fucking mad, right? The stuff he's, he's doing. Fucking talented, oh, yeah. But the stuff he's doing, like, on the side, that's making me and you go, like, Jesus, is so much better than Baby Got Back. You know what I mean? Why isn't yeah. his famous stuff, the stuff he's doing with the Seattle Symphony Orchestra? He's a TV host. He had a TV show where he bought and flipped fucking houses. Like, he was buying wrecked houses, Jesus. stealing them up and selling them. It was like fucking so mix a lot, fucking mix around the house or some show it was called. Um, sort of flip a lot. Yeah, exactly. He was a radio <laughs> DJ. He's done fucking everything. I think he's done theatre and everything. Like, he's an absolute man of the arts, Sir mix a lot. He's a Renaissance man. He is a Renaissance man. <laughs> like, like, they should just change his name to Sir fucking Renaissance is a lot. Um, Sir does a lot. Sir, Sir does a lot, lot. yeah. <laughs> Sir, 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 my busy. Um, so mad busy. <laughs> like, fuck, yeah, so presence in the United States of America, 
Pussifer, Metal Church, like a fucking the list is outrageous. Like this cunt, yeah. ha, he he warrants an entire podcast himself. I never would have copped it. This is like the guy that we talked about the other night from fucking Fountains of Wayne. Yeah, this is another cog so, in the machine that nobody knows about. I was about to say who China killed. That would have been real mean to say. Yeah, that. yeah. So we definitely can't say that. Yeah, you definitely can't say that. Uh, but yeah, that's well, sort of I, I, would, I wouldn't. I said, I, I, you know, I, I know you, almost, you couldn't. You couldn't say that. I China killed accidentally said. I watched I that movie that. Uh, Contagion last night again. Why would you? Why would you antagonize your? I love it, man. I fucking love anxiety. it. I love it. You don't you understand. Add, would you? But like, right. I have to ask you because I I, I don't want to, I don't really care about why other people will watch it. I won't get a proper answer if I ask them. No, just because it's the you know current. Why did would you not? Was that not antagonize your anxiety? No, I don't have anxiety. I don't get anxious. I don't Even get I don't get stressed. Global I'm, pandemic, the likes of no, which we haven't seen in a hundred years. Doesn't bother me. Jeez. Doesn't bother me in the slightest. Honest to God. No. Yeah, I'm not even lying. This is grand. Do you reckon you'd be anxious if you lived in America? No. No. Even though they're bollocks. No, there's only parts of my bollocks. Just stay away from the true. fucking... That's true. Stay away from the bollocks, people, and you're fine. Like, if, if I'm walking down the road, if I'm going to the shop to buy a fucking batch loaf and I see some fucking, like, straggler fucking swaying back and forward and coughing and sneezing, like, what am I going to do? I'm going to cross the road, I'm like, I'm not going to run up to them like some stupid cunt in a film. Like, you all right, buddy? You, you know what me to call some? Get the fuck away <laughs> me. I will... Let me give you fu- a note to me. Exactly. I will full-on 300 kick that cunt down a well. Like, 100%. You know what I mean? Social distancing, <laughs> like, by force. I will full-on fucking ravishing Rick Rio drop kick that cunt in the chest. Like, I just, just don't be, don't be fucking with them. If I'm in the shop, you just, you have to have these little rules. If I'm in the shop and there's someone behind me, <coughs> I'm just going to live. I'm just going to give, I'm going to give another shop. So I walk 10 minutes down the road, you know, walking's free. I just walk down the road. I, I saw someone coughing in the shop yesterday and I was like, sorry, today. And I was like, what are you actually doing right now? Like, I, 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 I cough in the shop as well. I smoke a thousand cigarettes a day. I have a normal little cough that happens. I forget that there is people that... Uh, Just cough. And, like, I swear to God, man. I, su- I swear to God, right? Right now... I'm, I'm going to have I'm a smoke now. I already... I already... Like, you know I hate the public. And I have no problem calling the public out, like, to their faces. I do it all the time. Mm. I get myself into some incidents with people. But I swear to God, if I'm in a line and someone's coughing behind me, they're getting sweet chin music. Yeah, exactly. 100%. Oh. Any of them moves that, that fucking... Like your man Drew, what's his man? Drew Galloway, that's a Scottish bloke that just won, he won the belt at WrestleMania and he has this move called like the Claymore kick and it's outrageous. That's what I'm going to start doing the cunts. That's all I'm going to start doing. Any, um, you don't give someone a rock bottom. You know what I mean? He gets too close to I'm gonna, them then. I'm going to play play final fight and I'm going to do the heavy kick with Hagar. Yes. Rah, rah, <laughs> that one. Where he just kind of disappears and appears sideways. His his, his back disappears into yeah. his leg and yeah. his leg. That's the rah, best rah. one. Yeah. And that's, that's, the, the top half of his body doesn't move. Hagar kick. Yeah. It's yeah, just his hips he the, tilt. Wasn't he the mayor of the town? Yeah. Wasn't he mayor? He was mayor. His mayor and his daughter was robbed. Yeah, that's kidnapped. right. Yeah. Robbed a, mm. a human robbery, Paul. There's a word for it. It's called a kidnapping. In accord. Um, yeah. yeah, yeah well, but that, so. Listen, <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, that's all you have to do. You have to have a few little rules and you just you just abide by them. Like I was walking the dogs today. I went down, like I said, I have like two or three kind of secret ways of walking the dogs that generally keep me away from the public. But today yeah. I went down one of them and there was like literally, there was cunts flying kites, man. There was cunts with kites. I haven't really? seen a kite. I honest to God, haven't seen a kite since 1986. And there was cunts down there flying kites. Where do you even get a kite? You know what I mean? <laughs> Where do you even get a kite? I bet you there's one place in fucking Fibsborough. The kite shop. Well, I think it's essential. <laughs> you don't think it's essential? Yeah. Like in, in the kite district. Like <laughs> the kite there was, district of there was full on loads of cunts with kites. There was a, a, a father and his two sons. And I'm not joking. They must have had 20 footballs. Right? And they were like, just passing the balls around. I was like, do you, do you, how did you get here with 20 balls? How did you get here with 20 footballs? Like, this field that's normally just devoid of people was packed. Packed. And I tell you, the main reason nobody goes into this field is because loads of these uh, fucking ducks and geese sleep there every night. And the whole field is covered in fucking duck and geese shoy. shoy. There's shoy yeah. everywhere. Great. You know so, what I mean? But they didn't give a bollocks. Shoy and the coronavirus everywhere. 
they're fucking getting picking up the avian flu to throw it on. They're making COVID twenty is what they're doing. They're fucking. You no, know this is annoying me. There's a little kind of fucking uh, rebellion in people going. No, I won't do what they tell me. I'm like, you know what? You know what? Like whatever. This isn't the government deciding. Like this is what the this is what the general consensus would come to anyway. Yeah, fuck. We have to stay inside. The whole this thing. Go- this isn't the government going. Oh, fuck you. Fuck yeah. you. The people. They're- 